With less than 100 days to go until the president election, uh, presidential election, the top candidates are working to shore up support in key demographics. Former President Donald Trump took questions from black journalists in Chicago today, but the appearance quickly turned hostile. Natalie Brand reports. Former President Donald Trump took the stage at the National Association of Black Journalists convention for what quickly became a heated question and answer session. You've attacked black journalists, calling them a loser, saying the questions that they ask are, quote, stupid and racist. Why should black voters trust you after you have used language like that? Well, first of all, I don't think I've ever been asked a question so in, in such a horrible manner, a first question. And he dismissed Vice President Kamala Harris's black heritage when asked about some Republican lawmakers' comments attacking her as a diversity, equity, and inclusion hire. She was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black, and now she wants to be known as black. Trump has been heavily courting black voters, but faces a new dynamic with Harris as the presumptive Democratic nominee. Supporters say her candidacy has infused new energy into the race. It's about bringing everybody together for a good cause, which is to make sure that we have democracy and that we have somebody in there that's looking out for the rights of everybody. Tonight, Vice President Harris speaks to a historically black sorority in Houston, a network of voters that began mobilizing for her after President Biden dropped out of the race. CBS News has learned Harris is expected to announce a running mate by Monday. The shortlist includes popular Democratic governors and Arizona Senator Mark Kelly. I trust she will make that decision on her own terms when she is ready. Harris plans to hit the road with her VP pick in several key battleground states next week, starting in Pennsylvania. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House.